Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a grocery haul for you. This is all Aldi. We are a family of seven. We have five children, 14 down to four. Uh, my husband is a semi-truck driver and is gone four days a week. And he does take a fair bit of his food with him, but he also has an allotment from his company because he trains other drivers that covers a little bit of like all of the the trainers or the trainees food and some of his so that plays into that but otherwise he does take food from home uh, a lot of leftovers snacky type stuff things that he can grab easily and eat he does have like a microwave but you know uh my i stay home with the kids and um we homeschool, so we eat literally all of our meals at home. We very, very, very rarely eat out because it costs so much. I mean, even like a fast food restaurant these days is 50 bucks to feed all of us. Um, so, yeah, we just don't do it. And instead, we eat a lot of home-cooked from scratch meals. If you like those kind of videos, stick around uh, because that's a lot of what you'll see here as I do food pantry hauls. Um what we eat for dinner and grocery hauls is mostly what I do. And then here soon we'll be doing grocery or uh, garden tours. So uh, my husband and I eat low carb for health reasons. And my kids eat lower carb than average probably. And we try to avoid most processed food. You're still going to see some processed meats, those kind of things. But processed meats to me is not as bad as some other things. You won't see like frozen dinners. Um, yeah. Yeah hungry man trays or something like that, I guess. Um, we are in a season of needing a little bit of assistance. So we go to food pantries and that is where we get the most of our processed foods. They do a really good job of getting a good combination of stuff, but we do get a lot of processed stuff there. So you won't see a whole lot of snacks. Uh, I very rarely buy chips and never buy cereal anymore, those kind of things. So um, we have a grocery budget of, we try to stick under $500 a month. Sometimes it does push the $600 mark, um, just because of needing to restock up. That covers all of our groceries, except for we get a few specialty items through Amazon. Um, things like, uh, special flowers for me, um, like coconut flour, um, gelatin that I use to make the kids gummies, like, like plain gelatin, those kind of things, but it's not a whole lot. And then, um, this covers paper products as well because we don't use a whole lot of paper products. We don't use paper towels or like paper napkins, paper plates for the most part, that kind of thing. So, um, trying to think if there's anything else that I need to say, but I don't think so. Oh, it's been exactly three weeks since the last time we went to the grocery store. And generally what I try to do is grocery shop for about three weeks. And then, uh, usually at the two to three week mark, I will send my husband back to the store or I will go back to the store for like fresh fruits and veggies kind of thing, milk if we need it, those types of things. But that's a lot of times where the food pantry works for us is that um, it kind of makes it to where we have, we go to the grocery store and then we have a couple of food pantries in there before we need to go to the grocery store again and it kind of fills in and helps us last a little bit longer before we need to go. So I think that is everything. So, first things first, I gotta grab my meals list so that you know the way that I do this. I do not plan breakfasts. My kids are pretty self-serve for breakfast. I always make sure that I have, like, sausage patties and um, we always have eggs because we have chickens. And then they can have a spoonful of peanut butter as a protein. They have to have a, a protein, a grain, and a fruit is usually what we're, we're going for. I bake big batches of muffins. Any kind of pastries type of things uh, that we get from the food pantry go into a free, our deep freezer in one section and the kids know that they can go and get that and pop it in the microwave and they're done. And then fresh fruit, frozen fruit, and canned fruit is always available. Um, once the fresh fruit runs out, then we generally switch to the frozen and the canned fruit. Um, lunches are set lunches. We do lunch meat and cheese cubes. Uh, two days a week, chicken nuggets with veggie, like fresh cut veggies. Every time is fresh cut veggies. Um, salami or summer sausage. And then one day I do grilled cheese or quesadillas or something along those lines for lunch. Dinner is what I plan and I loosely plan that even. Um, I don't plan it out for certain days of the week. I um, will, like on Sunday, 
I will sit down and plan out the next week's meals and get out any meats that need to thaw, that kind of thing. So this is the plan for this next uh, few weeks. Every Friday night we have pizza. On Saturdays I make some kind of big meal. Um, and I didn't plan those out this time. We're going to play that by ear. And then uh, Sundays we always eat leftovers. So... Those days are already taken care of. So this covers that Monday through Thursday um, with probably a couple of these will probably be Saturday meals in there as well. Uh, so we have sausage sheet pan meal is my go-to for uh, the end of that three-week period, two, three-week period, um, using up whatever vegetables we have on hand. And I cut those up with some smoked sausage, throw it on a sheet pan and bake it until it's all done. Chicken legs we got from the food pantry a while back. And then halouski, I believe is how you pronounce that, is a um, cabbage and cottage cheese dish that it's been a long time since I made it, but it was really good, so I need to make that again. It was just one of those random things that I thought, ooh, that sounds good. We have those salmon fillets from the food pantry, and then I will cook some chicken for whoever doesn't want salmon. Me, I do not like fish. Uh, trust me, I've tried. Um, but I generally, uh, feel unwell, we'll put it that nicely, uh, when I even open up the oven door when I'm baking fish. Yeah. Uh, I put down spaghetti because we've got a couple more of the spaghetti squash still from the food pantry, and that just sounded good. Uh, lasagna because I picked up lasagna noodles from the food pantry the other day. We still have deer steaks from my husband getting a couple of deer this fall, and we will do chicken with that. Um, so that we can kind of pick and choose. And then I'm thinking maybe we might fire up the grill for the first time this year. My husband says he needs to fiddle around with it. We bought a refurbished grill and something isn't quite working right on it. So he's got to check that out. Uh, Chinese food one night, um, burgers and hot dogs one night. Those might be a grilled breakfast for dinner as a kid's favorite. Cracked chicken with broccoli. That's a crock pot recipe. Sausage green bean potato stuff. Um, I made this, and I just realized I don't have potatoes. So we'll have to wait and see whether we get potatoes. I do have some canned, so we might try that. Uh, made this a while back, and my kids were, like, all over it. So, yeah. Every, when I asked, does anybody have any special requests for this month, everybody said, Big Mac salads. So you guys know how much they like that one. This is a, a Pinterest recipe that is smothered pork chops. It is on the stove, but I may try doing it in the crock pot or finding like some instructions on doing it in the crock pot. I don't think it's going to be that complicated to do to switch it over. I've been trying to find some more low carb crock pot recipes so that I can do those on like Monday um, for dinner or on nights that I know I'm going to be busy where we've been running errands all day or like last week canning all of those apples that I got the food pantry. Um, those kind of days where I just need to throw something in the crock pot and be done with it. So, all right, let's jump in and see what we bought to make this happen. Uh, cheese sticks are, if my kids get done with a meal and there are leftovers, they have to eat the leftovers. They have to go back for seconds. If they are still hungry or there are no leftovers, I will, and they're still hungry, um, we'll do meat stick, cheese stick, spoonful of peanut butter, hard boiled egg, squeezy pouch, or a homemade protein popsicle. Um, is what they're allowed to go back and get. So these last for a while. We still have some from last month. So I buy uh, two to three packages for an entire month, and then I don't buy any more. I will not, like if we go back and refresh, I won't buy any more of those. Uh, on Saturday or Sundays for lunch, we do leftovers. For dinner, we do charcuterie boards. Um, so that's for this. One of these a week is what we go through. And... Um, my daughter also, my oldest daughter also requested one to try one of these, uh, urban garlic ones. So we'll try that. We have plenty of shredded mozzarella in the freezer still from last month and from getting shredded mozzarella from the food pantry. So, um, I just picked up six of the extra sharp cheddar for pizzas and casseroles and then eight of the Colby Jack for snacky lunches, um, sandwiches, anything like that. A gallon of ice cream um, 
it is the cheapest to buy it like this. And I use the ice cream buckets uh, when we had all of those apples and I was dehydrating them. That's what I store them in. So I use the ice cream buckets for multiple things. Uh, and this fall, I fully intend to dehydrate a whole lot more apples off of our trees because my kids went through them like crazy. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. And then that's a quick and easy dessert for... Um, we can add anything to the vanilla ice cream that we want to. Two things of heavy whipping cream. I know I had two recipes that called for it. Plus, I use it to make a Russian custard dessert that works for me because I'm low carb. I also have some um, dietary restrictions that cause me to have stomach pain. So I pretty much have to avoid um, nuts, seeds, too many v raw vegetables. It's, it's a long story, but if you've been around for a while, you know, um, but I can make something called a Russian custard, which is egg yolks. And that's the, the base recipe just uses egg yolks, but I will whip some of this up and add to it and it freezes and it makes like an ice cream. So that's what I make for me. And then I can add like chocolate to it or, um, yeah, fruit. Sometimes I add strawberries, that kind of thing to make it different flavors. Uh, three things of yogurt for breakfasts. I saw somebody, Tubs of Love, love her channel, by the way. She's a fun one. Um, go watch her. Her husband has been having a whole bunch of medical issues and, and, uh, they keep having their pipes freeze and burst. So go give her some love. Go like, watch all of her videos and binge watch her videos so that maybe she can make some money and, and support her family. She's a, a sweetheart. Um, she was talking about her family does breakfast banana splits. And so they do the banana and then the yogurt and they like put toppings. And I was like, that's a really fun idea. So we might do that for breakfast one day. But my kids just like yogurt and then they will add whatever toppings they want to as well. Uh, two things of cottage cheese for that Haluski or Haluska, I can never remember which one it is. And then um, we will also use it for a side dish occasionally um, as a, a quick and easy side, especially if I just need something else to fill in a meal. Some strawberry cream cheese because of we keep getting bagels and um, croissants from the food pantry. And then I... We picked up something from the food pantry a while back that was a flavored cheese that we mixed into, um, I'll think of it here in a minute, spaghetti squash, but then we also have used it on like zucchini in the past. And I asked you guys if there was an option that might work for that and people were saying this and I was like, ooh, I will give that a try. So yeah. Hopefully that works because I can't see why it wouldn't because even if it doesn't, I could always mix it into one of the other things that I do where I put cream cheese in it. So plain cream cheese. Frozen strawberries is uh, for smoothies and um, when my little ones make like oatmeal, a bowl of oatmeal, we will push the, the frozen strawberries down into the oatmeal. That cools the oatmeal off and then thaws the strawberries. And so then best of both worlds. Three things of lunch meat for lunches. We usually go through one pack per week, so that works out nice. Uh, instead of buying pork chops, buy a half pork loin and make your own pork chops. It's super easy, and then you can make them. You can make them thick cut. You can make them thin cut. Uh, the best way to do that is to stick this in the freezer for about an hour. Um, check it every 20 minutes or so because everybody's freezers are slightly different temperature. And that firms it up enough to make it easier to cut. You could also cut it in half and use throw half of it in the crock pot and make pulled pork sandwiches with it. So that's why I bought that was I've got that one recipe that was pork chops. Um, and that's what I will do with this is I will just slice it all and we will have at least two meals worth of pork chops. Or I could do pork chops with one half and pulled pork with the other. Uh, two things of ground turkey. We have a lot of ground beef and ground deer from the food pantry, but I am not a huge red meat fan. So what I do is I mix it like I will do a pound of ground beef, a pound of ground deer meat, and a pound of ground turkey, and then I'll make meatballs with it or burgers or um, meatloaf or something like that. So it kind of cuts the gaminess of the, the red meat down a little bit. Sausage patties and sausage links, both of those are, my kids will either cook them in the skillet or just in the microwave as a quick and easy breakfast side. Chicken nuggets are one day a week. We do chicken nuggets for um, lunch. Sometimes I do homemade ones with the 
canned chicken that we get from the food pantry, but sometimes it is nice to have a quick and easy, throw it in the air fryer, and call it good. I bought a whole lot of chicken. <laughs> I have been buying a lunch meat that comes in like the tub that is a rotisserie chicken flavor, and it is so good. But I decided to price check today and compare per ounce something like a seasoned chicken um, compared to that. Because what I do is I just cut it up and I put it in a salad where you're not really hugely tasting it anyway. And I have been eating a lot of salads for lunch. Um, light on the lettuce, but a lot of salads for lunch. So I price compared and this bag of garlic and herb seasoned chicken breasts are cheaper per ounce. So what I will do is I can throw like three, two, three of those in my air fryer and cook them and dice them up and freeze them into one portion. And then when I'm ready for lunch, I can just pull that out and warm it up and I'm good. Or I could do that like on a night when um, we're doing the, like the, I'll think of it here in a minute, the deer steaks and chicken. I could do one of those as well. Two things of boneless, skinless chicken breasts for the various meals that we have that call for like diced chicken like the Chinese food. And then last month I bought a bag of chicken wings and I may have proceeded to eat them all by myself. <laughs> I really love chicken wings. So I went ahead and bought another bag because I thought, well, if we ever want to do them as a family again, um, we've got them. Or I could pull out like nine, ten wings and throw them in the air fryer and cook them for me for a meal or for lunch or something. So, all right, that is round one. I know there's going to be probably two more rounds because I think we're going to do fresh fruits and veggies and then the shelf stable stuff. So I'm going to go run around like a chicken with my head cut off and put this away and I'll be right back to you. Round two is the shelf stable items. Let's say that three times fast. Uh, we have these um, are what we use in our water. Gets my kids to drink their water. I also use them to make gummies, uh, like little gummy, I guess they're fruit shapes. Yeah, fruit shaped little like silicone mold um, that I use to make the kids gummy bears or gummy, you know, treats. Uh, two things of tea because I love tea. There's some Parmesan cheese, hazelnut spread, uh Burger, dill pickle chips um, for burgers, and then also um, that, yeah, Big Mac salad, sorry. Uh, a thing of the olive oil, and this is not the extra virgin olive oil, and it did work really well for baking. So I will keep that around. Normally, if I'm, if I'm baking, I will use home canned applesauce in place of oil. Um, and I have plenty of applesauce, but occasionally if it's something that just calls for like a couple of tablespoons of oil, um, I don't want to open up a jar for an entire, you know, entire jar for two tablespoons. So I use this and it's cheaper than avocado oil. So two things of honey, we use that on yogurt bowls, uh, in place of maple syrup, um, for pancakes, maple syrup is like three times the price per ounce. So, uh, yeah, we use honey. Uh, some barbecue sauce, uh, quick oats for breakfasts, two boxes of the variety pack of granola bars. That's one of the few snacky things that I bought this time. Cinnamon graham crackers were a special request. We have regular graham crackers on hand, but I've got a couple of kids that really like the cinnamon graham crackers and then they will eat their goat cheese with that. Obviously not the, um, urban garlic one. Some peanut butter cups for special treats. I picked up these for me. I've not bought any in a while. Uh, when I eat these, they are a bar. I will eat one-fourth of a bar as a, most of the time it's um, my kids are all asleep and mom needs something before bed. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, this was a new flavor, dark raspberry almond, and then some dark mint dark chocolate um, and those will last for a long time. Like I said, it's probably been six months since I bought any. I'm not sure. Uh, these are a special item. I have my two oldest kids are learning their multiplication tables and they're struggling because they're hard. Uh, so when I was in school, our teacher did a, you could build a banana split. And so the more uh, multiplication tables that you learned, the better this banana split was because it was like the banana, three flavors of ice cream, three flavors of toppings, like uh, 
fudge, caramel, that kind of thing, marshmallows, a cherry, you know, like it was all the, all the things. So I didn't particularly want to do that, but I thought if I could make a special basket or bag that anytime that they learn their multiplication, like one whole set, like all of the threes, they could get like two pieces of candy. And then the big deal is that if they learn all of them, the whole shebang, have them all memorized, not like counting in their heads kind of thing, then they get to choose an outing with either my husband or I to go to eat at a restaurant, or they could um, go bowling or something big. So like big for us, because we don't, like I said, we don't eat out very often. So that's kind of my bribery. I'm using bribery. Because I will be honest, I never learned all of my multiplication facts. I still don't. And I wish I had because it would make things so much faster. I know we all have phones now, but come on. Uh, butterscotch chips and white chocolate chips. We had been out of white chocolate for a while and my kids hit them hard. Uh, and then also the other day at uh, we had a church function and I made popcorn and I drizzled um, melted white chocolate and melted dark chocolate on one batch and then the other batch I did semi-sweet and peanut butter and it was so good and so I used up a good bit of my white chocolate. Uh, we use those for um, oatmeal, yogurt bowls, that kind of thing. Some sugar and flour. Uh, I realized the I forgot to do the butter on the last one. We have, I've been making that um, artisan bread in five minutes a day way more and we've been going through a lot more butter because of putting it on the bread. So, needed that. Uh, these were on sale, and I think it's they are probably getting ready to discontinue them um, for the season. They always bring them for, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter. But I think they're getting ready to get rid of them because it's something that in the past they have not carried you around. And we love these as a salad topper. So, um, I went ahead and picked up three of those. A ranch dressing packet for doing like deer roast in the crock pot, that Mississippi pot roast, uh, a thing of vanilla extract for making muffins, thing of dry active yeast for making breads, uh, tortillas for quesadillas, or sometimes we'll do lunch meat roll-ups, uh, some non-food items on Sundays when we do, um, what we call snacky dinner, that charcuterie board dinner, uh, I do bust out paper plates. So that's what those are for. And then like today we had a doctor's appointment and we had to leave the house fairly early and we will use either paper plates or paper bowls and the kids will eat breakfast. They had peanut butter sandwich and some fruit on the way. So that's what those are for. Um, plastic wrap. I used the last of mine. It takes me forever to use plastic wrap because I hate the stuff. But I took that popcorn in big metal bowls that didn't have lids. So I needed a lid lid for it so I used the plastic wrap. Um, a box of gallon size storage bags for various reasons. Uh, the salami and the summer sausage are for lunches and then sometimes we'll do one or the other for that snacky dinner as well. Meat sticks are the meat stick cheese stick spoonful of peanut butter hard boiled egg squeezy pouch popsicle. Got that memorized don't I? Uh, I did a price comparison of all these Either Bellevue or they also have the other brand, LaCroix, compared to we have a Big Lots right next door or like a little down the road from our Aldi. So um, they are cheaper at Aldi. Uh, so I did go ahead and pick up one more because this is a flavor that they don't usually have. I don't think I've ever tried it before. So uh, that is my soda alternative. And then the juice is for I make um, protein popsicles. I make two different flavors. I make a banana peanut butter one and then more of like a mixed fruit, like tropical one. And I use the juice as in place of like using milk. So, all right. Once again, I'm going to pause this for you and I'm going to go put this up and then I'll be right back. All right. Last round. And I'm going to try to make this quick because I recognize the fact that this vehicle or this video is getting long. Uh, we have two things of baby carrots for snacks or with lunch. Uh, cucumbers for lunches as well. Cauliflower, I, we use this a lot in like place of potatoes in recipes like mashed potatoes for my husband and I. Two things of cherry tomatoes for lunches. Three things of bell peppers for lunch or little mini peppers for lunches. Quick tip, if you grow a garden and you like these little mini peppers, <clears throat> you can save the seeds from these. 
and they plant and they grow beautifully. I do it every year. I had someone comment on one of my last meals of the week video and asked, um, said that they noticed that we don't eat a lot of colorful vegetables. Um, and especially like they said, they mentioned carrots. Um, that part of that is because for lunches, my kids eat all of this color for lunch pretty much every day. They get r carrots, peppers, tomatoes, and cucumbers, radishes, celery, um, cauliflower and broccoli. I make like a big relish tray and they get that every day. So keep in, that in mind that you're only seeing one meal a day of what we eat. So anyway, and I'm, I did not take offense to that comment and just was wanting you to know that we do eat more color than maybe what you see in dinner. But low carb vegetables tend to be in the green and that's it range. I oftentimes I'm like, wait, I fixed two green vegetables, but it's dark green leafies and that kind of thing. So it's fine. We're still getting vegetables in. I get plenty in myself. Uh, we have two things of avocados. I have been craving avocados here lately and eating just about one every day, give or take. Uh, and I don't know why, but for whatever reason, that's what my body is wanting is probably the fat content. I don't know what vitamins, I still never did look that up, what vitamins avocados are high in. That maybe there's something that I am um, craving by way of that. I don't know. But that salad that I've been eating every pretty much every day. Yeah, avocado in each one of them. Three things of broccoli because broccoli is a favorite in our house and we use it for so many different things. Some gala apples. I asked the kids, I said, do you guys want fresh apples? Because they ate through all of those. 144 pounds we processed and they ate. So they said yes, they would still like some fresh apples even though we have plenty of applesauce now for them to eat. Uh, some... <laughs> Strawberries, these were $2.09. I'm looking forward to when they're like 99 cents because in the past I have bought an entire flat and then froze them and I need to do that again this year, big time. Like buy probably multiple flats and freeze them for the smoothies and stuff that we eat all year round. Uh, that's so cheap. Um, grapes were $1.19 a pound, which isn't bad anymore. Used to get them down into the 99 cents a pound or lower, but um, $1.19 wasn't bad. And then six things of bananas because I raise monkeys. I'm joking. And then uh, I need them for, one, my kids will eat them fresh, but then I needed for, uh, I peel them, break them in half, freeze them on a cookie sheet, and then put them in the bags, and that's what I use to make smoothie popsicles. Um... I have already put away my receipt, so I'm just going to tell you what the total is. Like I said, we usually aim for um, about $500 a month. So the goal is to spend, give us at least $100-ish, $100 um, 75 to 100 to spend partway through the month. Uh, we came well in under budget at... $351 I rounded up the change um so yeah that worked out well now keep in mind this is pretty early in the month to go to the grocery store we're only a week in yeah less than a week in so um we will definitely have to make another at least small run before the end of the month we will have another doctor's appointment toward the end of this month too so we may do it that time but we'll see it's always a wing in it my, my life is just one giant wing in it so yeah uh, yeah, that is everything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, if you want, like, any of the recipes, either ask on this video or watch the next meals of the week for the next three weeks and you'll see them. Uh, because I always post the recipes or give general instructions on how to make everything. So, all right, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you made it to the end, give me a whoop whoop in the comments. Come on, you did it. Best viewers, all right? Um, or give me a hello or a hi, what, whatever you want to say is, you know, is fine, but all right. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.